right, guys. By the time you're watching this video, it is going to be Saturday, July 23rd. I'm pre-recording this because hopefully by that time I'm in Iowa. But keep our fingers crossed. Nothing happens this time. Okay, so I am going to show you a card that I came up with by accident. It was a happy accident, but still it was an accident. So here is the card and it'll open up like that. It's a panel card. So this is your opening here. This is where you'll do your writing. You could write in the back if you wanted to. Um, the reason this was an accident is I was going to do a video on a gatefold card, which you will see tomorrow, Sunday. Again, I'll be pre-recording that, but you'll see it tomorrow as long as everything goes okay and I don't make any more big mistakes. Okay, so I'm looking around now because I just had my card stuck here and I don't know where I put it. Oh, here it is, over here. So I'm going to be making this with, I'm not sure if I'm going to use the par Parakeet Party or the Fresh Freesia. Now this is a new in color. This is a in color that will be retiring at the end of this catalog season, which will be the end of next April. Uh, let's go ahead. I think I am going to, because these are the two pieces of DSP I'm trying to go between. So I'm thinking I'm going to start with the Fresh Freesia at this point. So what you're going to do is you are going to, oops, I'm dropping things already. Let me bend down over there. So you're going to start off with your normal card base, which is five and a half by eight and a half. And then here's where the mistake was. I was going to do a gatefold card. Instead, I scored each side at two and three eighths. Usually it's two and an eighth to meet in the middle, but I did it at two and three eighths. So I'm going to show you, and I got sticky on there, of course. I'm going to show you how this turns out. So here's two and three eighths scored on that side. And then here's two and three eighths scored on that side. All right, so see how that overlaps. Not what you want a gatefold card to do. Okay, so what I'm also going to do at this point is, is I'm going to trim this down to five inches. Now you can trim this down before and have that strip left. I just tend to fold first and then trim it afterwards. So this is down to five inches now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to Go cut diagonally from this point to the score line. So I'm going to put that in there and put the score line right in the channel there. And I'm going to cut that. And then on this side, I'm going to cut from the bottom up to that score line. So let's go ahead and go like that. Get the score line in the channel, get the point in the channel. And there you go. So now you have a card that looks like this. Then we're going to quickly measure this. Now this should be two and three eighths, remember? So here's the two and three eighths. So to do our layer, we're going to go a little bit lower than that. So two and three eighths, if we go down to fourth, it's going to be, because three eighths is two eighths, so we're going to go down to two and one eighth. That was math, sorry. Two and three eighths. And we're going down a quarter. A quarter is two eighths. So two and three eighths minus two eighths leaves the two and an eighth. So we're gonna go two and an eighth. And then it was five the long way. So we're gonna go to four and three fourths. And then we're gonna cut that. Now this is, you want it to be, this is directional. So you want to go from this corner to this corner. So let's go ahead, go from that corner to that corner. And if I remembered right and did everything right, this should be my layers. And there you are. See how those are layered? Now it's not a really big layer at this bottom. If you wanted to trim this down just a little bit more, you can go another eighth in. Sorry, because that's a fourth. So you could go another eighth in. You'll want to start in the middle of your card stock, if so, because you don't want to take the chance of, of ruining that edge, curling it. 
So that looks pretty good. See how we have that? Here, I'll put this on so you can see. See how we have a nice little all the way around. If you want to cut that down just a little bit more, you could. Let me go another. Okay, that really looks good now. So I'm going to go ahead, grab out my stamp and seal, and we're going to tap that down. Tape it down. We're not going to tap it down. We're going to tape it down. Let me go ahead, because I already have this sticky enough as is. I don't need to go any stickier. So you want to make sure that you get that stamp and seal all the way down to that corner. You want that point to lay down good. Now, I don't suggest that, I need to put that back under there so I can see my edges. I don't suggest that you cut both of them down at the same time, because depending on your angles, you may be just a little bit off on this bottom one. So it's always good to look first and then cut. So see, let me put this back underneath here so you can see, see how there's not, it's very thin. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that down. This time I'm gonna go all the way to that mark because I know that's what I did last time. Start in the middle again, just so I can see my edge. And that looks good. That's a good border all the way around there. So let me go ahead and tack that down. All right, all the way to that corner. You want that corner to have adhesive on it. And then we're going to go ahead and put that right there. So there's your first part. For the inside, remember this is going to be four, uh, I'm sorry, three and three fourths by five. So that means we're going to make this three and a half. By four and three fourths. And that's going to be your inside part. Before we lay it down, though, we are going to go ahead and stamp it. I am using Dragonfly Garden in the annual catalog. It was carried over. It originally came out in the um, Jan to June of last year. Now it's in the main catalog. So I'm going to go ahead and take these wildflowers, get my memento, and I'm going to grab my blends and do just some very light coloring. But I'm going to go ahead and go like that. And then the words, I'm going to do kind of in the middle here because I want to cover it up with my flap. I haven't shown you the flap but yet. But I kind of want to go that right in the middle there. All right, let's put that over here. All right. Let me grab the fresh freesia light and the pale papaya light. I'm just going to go ahead and just on some of these little flowers, we're just putting a little bit of color. I'm not even really coloring in. I'm just highlighting those. And then... Up here, I know these are usually yellow. I'm making them pale papaya with just a little bit of that fresh freesia in that middle. If you wanted to add some soft succulent or something there, you could. I'm just going to do just a little bit of color there. And we're going to go ahead and lay it down there. Try to get with a good frame all around there. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and we're gonna lay this on, remember this is five by three and three fourths. Remember that's three and three fourths. So then we're gonna make this five and a fourth, no, sorry, four 
but that's a fourth bigger than that three and three fourths and then five and a half i'm uh, sorry five and one fourth this way now if you're worried about covering up this much designer paper you can do punches out if you want to i'm going to go ahead and just lay it down so i'm going to put the adhesive on the back of this we're going to hover make sure i have a good frame on all four sides and then I'm going to take that parakeet party and I'm going to make this a panel. Remember, it's a panel card. It's, it's not going to do a traditional open the way it is. So your panel is going to be four and a fourth by five and a half. So there's your panel. Let's go ahead and put some adhesive on that. Here's your panel. Again, you're going to hover so you get a little bit of a frame all the way around. You could leave it like that, but I like to add one more little piece. So I'm going to take that scrap we had left of the white, and this is going to be the white is going to be three and three fourths by two and three fourths. So here's three and three fourths. See how that's left there? And then two and three fourths. And then with the other part of the panel that you haven't cut off, you're going to do a four by three. So let's go three by four. This is going to be your layer like this, but we're going to stamp on this first. So then let's take out couple more dragonflies we're going to do let's see let's gotta do the fresh freesia like that gotta do the parakeet party I'm gonna go like that then I'm going to do since we have some sweet sorbet showing through there, I'm going to do sweet sorbet, but I'm going to stamp it off once. So let's get a lot of that color off there. Go to my sweet sorbet off once, and then here. <gasps> so pretty. Pale papaya. I'm going to fill in. Oops. Fill in. Make sure they're the right way. Fill in with some little dragonflies all around them. I'm just going to go right over that because it's not going to matter too much. All right. So let's go ahead layer that. And I can't think of a fun name for this. I think I'm going to call it my Diagonal Alley. Now you can put it all the way down here to cover that up. I don't mind that it has a little bit showing down there. Probably should have moved it over a little bit. So you could do it like this if you wanted to, but I'm gonna center it. You only wanna put tape on the upper corner. So kind of like that. And there you are. Look how sweet that is. Now, of course, I'm going to burnish it from the back. Yes, I know. That's where those little points are here. I probably should have done it flatter before I taped it down, but it's a little late now. So I'm just going to try to get on the back of this card kind of where I know at that cardstock is. All right, so there you go. There's that one. Here was the original one, and if you want to do a full length card where you don't have the trim all the way around, you can go like that and just do it on the sides. All right, guys, thanks a lot, and I hope you're having a good Saturday.